Uh, are you confident that IEBC is going to uh, or prepared to give us a free and fair as, uh, as of now, my confidence level is uh, shaken. I think it will be important uh, for us to see some very, very serious measures being taken. Uh, we must see serious uh, um, uh, reallocation of resources mm -hmm. to ensure that the IABC moves uh, with haste. We must see uh, a more credible program of the release of IDs uh, for us to uh, start uh, having, getting a sense of feeling mm -hmm. that they will do what they have to do uh, properly. We should not be uh, uh, hoodwinked into believing that because they have conducted a by-election here or Successful. and another yeah. one there, mm -hmm. uh, that that is okay. But when it will come to the broader thing, which they have done before, okay, mm -hmm. in terms of the national, but you can see people are still uh, uh, jittery. Um, and, and there could be a lot of things that they, they, they need to, to bring out. They, they will have to train their, their, their people again, their agents, I mean their, their, their officers afresh in some areas. Uh, these, these are fundamental issues. Now, okay. they, have, they have that elaborate program. They want about 20 billion uh, this year and then 19 billion uh, next year. Now, all this is futuristic. If you don't give them money now, how are they going to procure the equipment they want? Mm. You want them to do it at the last hour, and then we'll have the same kind of scenario that we had now, in the previous years. Given, given our history and the fact that we would not want to go back to 2007, 2008, and what happened, mm -hmm. of course, IEBC remains very critical uh, that Kenyans generally have confidence in free and fair elections. Mm -hmm. What would you, as Musalia Mudavadi say, needs to be done so that we have that uh, averted, so that we don't have people who feel like we were ill-prepared and like this foul play? I think, I think uh, f f as I said, first of all, fund it properly. Um, secondly, you will have to deal with the, some of the concerns people have raised in the context of uh, the commissioners. Uh, I think one needs to come out clearly. Are they guilty or not guilty? Uh, is due process being followed to ensure that that, uh, that particular question is, 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 is also answered? Mm -hmm. Because all these... Uh, are going to play into the confidence measures. Mm -hmm. In 2007, um, in the build-up to 2007, you will recall that uh, one section of uh, uh, the, the government, or the government of the day at that time, did not want to go through certain processes of ensuring that commissioners are being named through a consultative process. Um, uh, they made unilateral decisions, and that seriously undermined uh, um, the, 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 the then electoral commission mm. um, and, uh, and w when you remember the stories of uh, uh, Kivuitu making his comments and, right. uh, and raising concerns mm. uh, it, it was clearly a situation where we now had an electoral commission then where there was seriously a clear disconnect uh, at the commission level and which was filtering down into 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 the officers of of, of uh, the electoral body. Mm. So clearly, uh, some of these challenges uh, need to be addressed. I don't think we should uh, w uh, wash, wish them away or wash uh, put them under the carpet and imagine that all they must be dealt with. Yes, they must okay. be dealt with, and the public must see that these issues are being tackled. Okay. Let's now come to Amani National Congress Party. First of all, uh, there has been, uh, you know, um, different quotas who say you're looking to join Jubilee or COD. What, I, what, what is your stand right now? Um, I said some time back that that is a, a, a tired script mm -hmm. uh, written by a very tired author. Because the Constitution allows people to contest and, in, and, and, and we are a multi-party state right. within the framework of the constitution. Uh, it's, it's, it's embedded in our constitution. So ANC is a political party, independent political party. Uh, we got registered in July uh, last year uh, where we got the full registration. And it's on that basis that we are building uh, our outreach uh, in preparation for the general uh, election. In 2017. Yes. Mm -hmm. The issue of uh, political 
uh, affiliation and what have you is not to be answered today. That is uh, something for another day. Because what is important is that we want to create our space, we want to win our supporters, uh, we want to prepare to contest effectively in the general election. And I want to contest for the presidency. Mm -hmm. That is the statement I've said, and I'm saying it again.